Hello, folks, and welcome back to Death Stranding. We've got a bit of a journey ahead. We've got Mama's corpse. It won't go Necro, so we're not exactly in a time loop, which is good. We've just got to figure out how the hell to get all the way up here to Hartman's lab. It's near the heart-shaped uh, thing there, which is interesting. I'm not sure how to do this. We've gone to the doctor. I'm wondering if maybe... If we go from the doctor to Hartman's lab, if that's actually a thing. I'm trying to think, like, how else would we get over here? I'm trying to get, like, an idea. So the approach is apparently from the north, I'm getting from this. Mm, quite the jump there. I wouldn't know how to do that. Maybe with a chiral bridge? Maybe. Maybe. I don't have any pinions, not to mention we're on a trike, so I don't know if the pinions would actually work. So, okay, we probably... Let's, let's assume we go to the doctor. We go to the doctor, and then what? Well, okay, so assume we go to the doctor. We might be able to go up from here, theoretically. If I can go up here and go, like, through this... Then what? Come down like here, and then through here. I'm trying to like get over the way I want to go. It's going too far over this way, isn't it? Maybe it looks like we have a chiral something over. There's an online bridge over here. What is this? Yeah, it's an online bridge. So if we go to the bridge, and then. Kind of zoom around and go up. We can kind of like go around, basically. Kind of hate this route. This seems like a horrible, horrible route. This seems absolutely terrible. It seems too long and not good. What's another good route? Um, that's a caution sign for some reason. That's probably a lot of BT activity, probably. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, that's another bridge. That probably doesn't go where I want it to go. Yeah, if we try to stay along this side, maybe. Okay, let me try. Let me try another thing. Okay. So let's try going from the lab to where we are and see if that works. So maybe if I go, like, um, go over this way. Let's go. Let's say this is doable. Be a rough ride, but we might be able to do it. So, and then, like, down this way, maybe? That looks tricky. That looks like a tricky bit of nonsense there, but it might work. It could happen. Okay. And then what, genius? Um, okay, so we can go along this way. This nice, easy slope over here. This might be doable. I don't know what that caution sign's all about. That does worry me a little bit. But if we can do this, that might be something we can consider. Okay. Alright, that has potential, maybe. Oh, did I leave? Oh no, okay, so there's the A route and there's the B route. Okay, I don't know why the B suddenly started happening, but they did. Oh, because I didn't totally lock on there, but that's okay. That's fine. It stops us going through this cautionary. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe BTs, maybe something else, I don't know. But this looks theoretically possible. Let's try this out. Let's see if this goes. It could be the trike's not a good idea at all. Like, we'll see. So, where does this route go? Let's actually go up this way. Hold on, I've lost the route again. Uh, because it goes through the city, kind of. And up a sheer cliff, because apparently I can't read. Well, to be fair, it's not a topological map. Okay, let me try going up this way, past the generator here. Or whatever this is, what the hell this thing is. The gun, whatever this is. What is this thing, anyway? We'll find out when we actually get... Um, Mama all set up here. Well, now I'm not quite running to be... I need to be, like, up higher somehow. How are we going to get up higher? 
That's a lot of bumps. I need to be like in the snow line now, like almost the entire time. Let me try going up this way, maybe. Oh, it's a real thing or not? I'm gonna try it though. Oh, okay, not quite, not quite. Sorry there, Mama. We're we're giving you quite the bumpy ride here. Quite the bumpy send off. Here we go. That's a little better. Okay, that's a ridge I can work with. That worked out. Although now we're like on top of the building, which is not ideal. Um, couldn't even tell you where the path is. Couldn't even tell you. Okay, what if we go to the left here? Kind of slide around a little bit. Can I grab that car material? We'll just stop. Oh yeah, there we go. Thanks. Ooh, um, the fact that we see a rainbow is not encouraging. I have no idea of the path. That's a lot of drop things. That's not encouraging. Yeah, I'm, I'm well off the path. But not too terribly far off. I might be able to juke the left here. That's... If we might be able to get to B2 here, we might be able to do that if I keep on going the way I am. Let me let me get rid of these markers. Let me go from where I am here. So let's assume I can go this way and just keep on following this ridge. Like, there's a truck right there. Like, that seems like, like that means this might be possible. That's a hell of a steep drop. Um, how are we going to do this? We're going to go, like... Here, maybe? Might have to go, like, around. Might have to go, like, over here. And then down this way. And that gives us, like, behind Hartman's Lab, which might be doable. Like, what if the what if the entrance is actually this green thing on the south side? Can I do that? Maybe I can do that. And that seems pretty unlikely, but it might work. You never know. Okay. I don't actually see the mark here, which is not encouraging. I can, like, sneak around this building. Come on. There we go. Good jump. Good jump. Okay, I'm not making it over there, but I might be able to go over here. Come on. Jump up. Jump up. You can do it. You can do it. You can... Okay, you can't do it. I don't know why you can do it. Okay. Just gotta keep climbing the mountain. This might have been something that would be easier to do on foot. I thought the truck would be a good idea, so we're not burdened with Mama's corpses we're trying to do this. We all seem to have quite the... quite the balance issue with any of these corpses, but maybe this is doable. I see A3 right over there. So that's past the ridge, which is not encouraging. Try to go up. Maybe I can make a jump here, but that's not a jump I'm making, is it? it? Does not look like a jump I'm making. Don't go backwards too far. Accelerate! Accelerate! Okay. I need to tell him to accelerate. It's never a good sign. Okay, there we go. We got the jump. We got the jump. There it is. A little bumpy. We did it. Every time one of these with these bumps here means we're taking damage, but the corpse is already dead. Like, what could possibly happen? Okay, we're gonna get some time fall up here, which is not good. But at least now this should be smoother. Smoother is not the same thing as smooth. But we're making it. Smoothness is relative. Compare this to chunky peanut butter, this is the smoothest things you've seen. Ooh, okay, this is quite the uh That's quite the elevation change I was not expecting. I did not see that on the map. Oh, I guess that's what this ridge means. Okay, well, that's tricky. Do I just abandon the trike? I hate to do that. We built this trike. Built this trike without a rock and roll one. I'd like to be able to keep it. If I can wake my way around here. Um, well, we can go down. Might not survive down, but we can go down. It's the 
only so far you can jump, though, before it becomes physically impossible. Like, physics will actually just smack you around and call you a bitch. So we don't want that. Uh, I can't jump here either, though, unfortunately. There's only so far I can jump. Only so far we can abuse the physics engine before it just gives up. Yeah, we can't do it. Can't do it. It won't let me happen. It won't, won't let it happen. Keep trying. Hoping. But no. Okay. Is there another route we can go from here? Well... There's down this way, but that looks like quite the steep drop. I'd be a little concerned about that. Someone left their bike over here. I'm wondering if they came to the same conclusion I did, which is that the bike might not just be the way to go. Alright, well, I don't have a ladder either, do I? I have a PCC. I can deliver... Uh, I can do a chiral bridge with the PCC. Not ideal, but maybe the way we need to go? Well, maybe with a chiral bridge we can make something work. While we have the PCC, we can make something work here. Like, maybe a chiral bridge, like... Uh, well, over this seems impossible. Let me go down. Let me see if I can figure out a way from down here. So that we can go over to where the bike is. I don't exactly have a good understanding of where that is right now. There's a bike over near, like, A3 somewhere. We go over this side. I saw a bike over on the side, but maybe not. Uh, definitely a very steep drop. Oh, yeah, that, that's a very steep... I'm hitting the brakes! I'm hitting the brakes! Don't make me fall off the edge. Okay, okay. what are we going to do with this? That's an enormously steep drop. That is not reasonable at all. Okay, there's the bike there. Okay, so I need to go over to the bike. Um, okay, so I missed my turn. Just need to, like... I think the trouble is I've got the bike kind of wedged in here now. What I do is go ahead and just carry everything on my back. So let's grab Thomas Corpse. Those things there. Can I carry all those on the back? Okay. The PCC does not come with us. Um, so here. Oh, no, no, PCC on my back now. What was what was dropped? Oh, the high-capacity blood bag. Okay. Um, That does suck. I do want that. You know what? I'm willing to trade the PCC for that. Let me, let me drop the PCC on the ground. Or carry them by hand. That's okay, too. They're in the right hand. And the high-capacity blood bag, I want to be on my back. Okay, there we go. So, firm. Carry this shit. There we go. Yeah, of course, you're more likely to side sway by side by side. No shit. No actual shit. Okay, so here's somebody else's trike. I was wondering if maybe this was traversable at all, but that looks even like a more of a sheer drop than the other way. I was hoping, like, directly in front of me we might be able to find a way, but... Oh, we can actually tilt it. Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Can't really tell... Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of sheer. Yeah, see, I need to, a, topographical, a topography map, and that's not what this is. I mean, it's kind of doing that with the tilts. You can kind of see, like, maybe... Now, see, directly ahead of me, it doesn't look that bad. It looks like maybe we can actually do that. Maybe a chiral bridge can bridge that gap. So directly ahead of me, if we get over this ridge, we're free and clear, I think. Okay, let's see if we can actually make a chiral bridge. Let's see if that's a thing. This is one we're carrying our right hand, so we'll do this. Okay, so I want... Oops, okay, that wasn't it. Um, the one carrying my, on my tool rack, I guess? Whatever, this thing here. Uh, hello? This one here? I can't seem to build anything right now? 
That was weird. Now don't pull the freaking... Okay, yeah, that thing there. Okay, so we want to change structure. Eyes open. Stay awake. I mean, a zip line would actually be not a bad idea if we could find out where we're going. Right, well, shelter, cover bricks. Here we go. Oh, except it's doing time fall right now, so it won't work anyway. Damn, 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 damn. All right. Never mind. Never mind. Undo. Undo. It's not going to work. Jump wrap wouldn't be interesting, but not helpful. I mean, a zip line, maybe, if we were actually, like, to go somewhere, but I don't know if it's actually gonna... Oh, there's actually two lines here, apparently. So, if we just get rid of the obstacle detected... Okay, hold on, maybe we go, like, over here? So there's two lines available there. Maybe we go, like, past the, uh... And if I get on top of the building, that'd be amazing. But, yeah, there's two lines here, apparently. If we can just make sure that the obstacles are no longer detected in the zipline path. Yeah, yeah, steep slope, whatever. There is a blue line I can get down from there, but really it's the up that I want. The down is not the issue. The down is not where I want to go. I want to go up. The problem is there's no clear path for the up. I can really... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so we can do it right here. That'll get me up. Yeah, build this. I'll leave the other PCZ behind. I don't want to, so I want to say I still have it, but let's make sure. Okay, no, I still have the other PCZ. Okay, we're good. Okay. All right, hook me up. We want to go... That way, I guess? I mean, it's got to be better than where we are now, so sure. Okay, it's a start. Um, that's gonna take me in the wrong direction, isn't it? I mean, almost anything would be better than where I am. Um, I can't actually tell where I am right now. So, yes, there, but where is it gonna take me? The zip line, I don't see the zip line route. I don't see where the other zip line is. So do I want to take the other one? I could be dropped off right now, and we'd be on our way. It wouldn't be pretty, but we could do it. That zipline kind of feels like it's going to take me the wrong way. Let me go ahead and dismount. Ooh, okay. Bit of a drop. We're okay. How did they even put the zipline up here? I mean, it seems like a very precarious situation. Man, traveling up here to put that zip line up would not be easy. Okay. Well, I don't know what that sign means. Don't give up, basically, I think is what it means. So we gotta be close. Okay, but I think we're good here. I think now we go ahead and follow our path, and we're mostly good to go. I mean, is that Dead Man's Lab right there? Oh, now, of course, there's music. Okay, but this gets us right where we want to be. This is actually great. I'm glad we just mounted. This is fantastic. You can go ahead and sing if you like. It doesn't really matter. I'm just talk over you. Yeah, this is a lot closer than I thought. So if we had taken the zip line the other way, um, that would have been embarrassing. We would have realized afterwards, I'm sure, that it was like right next to where we needed to be, but so it goes. Hey, Harbin. Brought you a corpse. Your favorites. I mean, it's called... I'm mean, Deadman, really, right? I called him Hartman for some reason. I don't know why I did that. That's a lot of steps. 
Okay, so I'm not sure how we're supposed to make this with a trike. I think maybe we've... How does Hartman get over here? Dead man, sorry. How does Dead Man get over here? That's a very, very good question. There must be a way. I mean, there's no way he walks here. I don't, yeah, I don't understand how Deadman's supposed to make this trip himself. It makes no sense. At least a fire going. I appreciate that. Thanks, dude. Okay, yeah, make delivery. Here's your requested cargo, my dude. Here's the, oh no, Hartman. It says Hartman's lab. Hartman, Deadman, one complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Now the cosplayer got her stuff. Good, good. Request to join UCA registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. I'm sure of that every time. It really doesn't seem like we're close to the coast at all. We're not even freaking... I mean, we're just barely in Colorado right now, I think. How the hell are we supposed to get all the way over to... California at this point? Oh, that's Hartman. Okay. Thermal pad? Well, so we won't freeze to death. I suppose that's a good idea. Please proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Good work. Sure. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. I'm not actually done yet, though, so I can't do that yet. Okay, the skulls are a little disturbing. Just that. Resuscitation? What? Uh, the hell is... Okay. I don't know if that's gonna shatter. What do you mean until resuscitation? Apparently, we're just gonna spend that minute wandering around trying not to... Why is the floor padded? Are you insane? Are you actually completely mad? Well, apparently he's going to be the one resuscitated. The stairs aren't padded. It really seems like if you're going to pad the floor, the stairs should be padded to you. I mean, come on. It's a very old-fashioned phonograph. Or at least it looks old-fashioned. It's probably one of those record players just like, you know, it's like faux old. If you can play modern records, it's probably not actually a phonograph. You want me to just drop this lady anywhere, or like you got a specific place? Hard man. Administering shock. Stand clear. <sighs> Spend a minute dead or something? I mean, you can't do more than five minutes without suffering brain damage. Really, it's probably closer to like two, but five's like the absolute limit. Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. <laughs> He's only got I'm sorry. To live. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please lay her down there. Still no sign of them. <laughs> you know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 
60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. Wow. 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. So he did it on purpose? This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've traveled to and from the seam an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. <laughs> These for the next 20 minutes. I see myself in that crater, my wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. All right. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them. How long can your day heart take after that? Day after day. All so you could say goodbye. Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying, spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Yeah, he doesn't exactly shake hands. Weren't you briefed? A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yeah, a little bit of A, a little bit of B. Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. It hasn't been 20 minutes yet. What the hell? Or 15 for that matter. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others. Everyone's got some As exception. if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But 
if regret, uh, resentment, a, uh, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? I don't know, but evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? <laughs> okay. Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, It'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. He almost forgot. Well, his body doesn't go into spasms at all, which is kind of unusual. Okay, so I guess we'll wait three minutes. Gotta chill out. Uh, we can zoom in various things. Okay, family portrait, correct. Uh, what about that, uh... I zoom in on the... No, I can't zoom in on that. Oh, there we go, I can zoom in here. Oh, okay. Zoom in's kind of weird, but okay. I was trying to zoom in on the hourglass. I really can't. Unknown ore recovered from Woodhouse Crater. Okay. Let's just stay zoom in. Weird corpses. That's really, really strange. And we've made a loop. That was it. There's someone like on the floor somewhere or nothing. No. Okay. Let me look at the pictures. I guess. Some Cairo crystals, pictures, nothing really amazing here. Zoom in on this. Oh, there we go. It's funny, Tartman's giving me likes from beyond the beach or whatever. And there's another picture over there that I can't quite... Oh, there we go. Tartman's daughter. Okay, gotcha. Is that a picture of Harmon's wife, then, up there? Oh, can't quite zoom in on it, so not quite. Okay. That's about all I can do. I'd really like to zoom in on the, uh... Oh, there we go. On the hourglass, Arbor of Life. There we go. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Okay, I'm not sure about the dead here. The... Oh, there we go. Okay, zoom in on the whale skeleton. Okay, cool. That's a, um... I think that's a killer whale. It's been so long since I've been to a natural history museum, I couldn't actually tell you. What about this thing over here? Can I... No? Nothing there? Okay. I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff on the shelves, but I mean, they're mostly just books. What about over on the corner there, though? I can't quite zoom in on it. Nope. Okay, there's a lantern there. Kind of unusual, but can't really zoom in on it. There's a clock there, but really can't zoom in on it. And more lanterns. He's got lanterns like crazy. Okay. Alright, five whole seconds. Four, three, two, one. Come back to his arm. Stand clear. No luck. 
Visit 218,550. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? You tell me about I may be used to the 21 minute cycle, but for a first time face to face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Eating must be a pain. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Yeah, all those. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> if you're organized, sure. Sleep is the tricky one. I bet. And intercourse, I suppose. Verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Especially right now, I suppose. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. Or oh, from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> yeah, that's about as far as it goes. <laughs> As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power. And my life support. I woke up on the beach. Beach. The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? She seems to risk me responding. Doesn't, you know, attack him or anything. <laughs> okay. It's not a library, it's a beach. I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey! It's me! <laughs> The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. How the hell you and that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. 
I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny, though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Armily proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, hiding in the Earth, then, are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armory. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. Yep, problem putting that on mute. Kind of necessary to. Well, okay. At least the computer program's still activated. Well, it explains why the floor is padded, just in case he misses. Don't worry his about drop. it. Now. The air mat door absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. Okay. Well, at least now we know where we're going. If that matters, but he appreciates it. <laughs> I don't know, that added a little something extra. So it's not like he's here to see it. Okay, I need to put that on. I don't know why that went off in the first place. Very strange. Yeah, for some reason my replating is not on. So I attach that to my suit. Thank you. Attach that to my suit. And thank you. Okay. Much better. Alright, let's see what we got. Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now, we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. Now, that's a concern for us as much as you. 
But we won't know more until we get to Edgenot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evo Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Um, out of curiosity, do I still have my assault rifle? I kind of think I don't. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow-capped mountains. Okay. I mean, it's not a bad idea to do, sure. Let's go ahead and get a thermal pad. And then, yeah, there's the one there. There you go. Uh, nope, my non lethal assault rifle is gone. Well, that's a problem. Let me go ahead and take one of those. Okay. I don't think we're gonna need a trike. I think we're just gonna have to beat through this on foot, just how it goes. You know, we all have crystals here, so we'll just have to take what we can get. Okay, so it's thermal pad. I guess attached to my suit. I'll go ahead and give that to my right hip. The assault rifle, go to the tool rack. And then we should be good to go. I have some stuff on the ground here. Ah, okay. High capacity blood bag. Go to attach that to my other hip. Please then I'm balanced. And the PCC. Go ahead and just shove that on my back. There we go. Okay, now we can go and take on an order. Oh, I suppose we should actually make sure the bots deliver what they can here. Uh, sure. Go to the roboticist. Oh, setting up the doctor is not a bad idea. Yeah, send something to the doctor. There you go. Anything to get his star level up. And we've got to go ahead and do our mission. So, one at a time. Take on the order for Sam, and let's go ahead and... He said paleontologist afterwards. Um... Do I have to do both of these? I mean, it's 100 kilograms. We can do it. It's just... If this is fragile, I don't know if we're going to be able to avoid impact. Let's do this. Let's just get to the geologist first. A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. All right, sounds good. Administering shock. Stand clear. Urban. There he is. The stratum the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. All right, well, we'll do what we can. Uh, we probably need a ladder at the very least. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. Might need a climbing anchor, so I'll grab one of those. We already have some PCCs, so I'm sure they'll be good. You know, maybe just one more ladder. Maybe just one more ladder, just to be on the safe side. It's five whole kilograms, but I have a feeling we're going to have quite the traversal here. So yeah, give me one, give me two ladders there. There we go. Okay, load it all up. Alright, it's a little heavy. 
Actually, it's mostly just bulky. It's actually not that heavy at all. That's not too bad at all. Okay, we're good. Okay. Order assigned. And away we go. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Death Stranding. I'm PC Super Sure, PC Super Soon. I'll see you guys next time.